In this video, I'm going to show you five different ways to make a thread chain. This technique can be used to create button loops, belt loops, and also for attaching a lining to the inside of a garment. The first method I'm going to show you is how to create a thread chain using hand stitches. I've cut a length of thread and I've doubled it. And then I'm going to fold it over in half again. And then I take the loop here and I thread that through my needle. And then pull that loop through until the loop sits slightly lower than the cut ends of the thread. I'm going to place my thread chain right on the edge here. So I take my first stitch at the top and I want the thread chain to sit in a little loop over this edge here, just big enough to fit the size of my button. So I'll take one small stitch here from the top edge, pull that through until I get to the loop and then bring your needle through the loop to secure the thread. Then I'm going to make another stitch in the same place and keep that as a loop. And just pull the other thread through and leave the needle attached. And now I'm going to form a chain using this strand here and this loop. Take the thread through the loop, forming another loop, and then pull on the loop and repeat. Keep going until your thread chain is long enough to go around your button. Leaving enough space for you to be able to undo it easily, particularly if this is a fastening at the back. And then take your needle and bring that through the loop and pull that tight. And then I'm going to fasten the end of the thread chain into this position here. So take a stitch through the fabric and make another stitch to secure. And then as you pull the thread through Bring your needle through that loop and knot it in place. And then from the wrong side, you can just take your thread through the back of the fabric and make a couple of stitches to secure and then cut the thread. In this next method, I'm going to use a similar technique, but this time I'm going to form my chain using a crochet hook instead of hand stitches. This crochet hook is about two and a half millimetres or a UK size 12. I've taken a length of, of thread and I've doubled it as before, and then I'm going to fold that in half again so I've got four strands. And then I'll take this loop 
and thread it through my needle. And then pull the loop so that sits lower than the loose ends here. Take a small stitch at the top of the fabric and as you get towards the loop take your needle through that loop and fasten there. Now I take another stitch in the same place to make a loop and then just pull the other thread out of the way but leave the needle attached. And now I'm going to crochet the chain using my crochet hook. So put your hook into the loop and then just wrap the thread around the hook and bring it through and you can make that chain tighter as you go along. Think the chain's long enough, just wrap that around your button and just make sure that you're going to have enough room to go around the button and to be able to undo and do it up easily. Then take your needle and go through that loop for the last time and pull to fasten off. And now I'm going to make a small stitch just here and again and then take your needle through the loop and that will secure your stitches and at the back you can just make a couple of stitches through the fabric to secure and then cut the thread. In this method I'm going to use hand stitching again but this time I'll be using a type of blanket stitch to form my chain. I start as before, I've cut a length of thread and I've folded it in half and then I'm going to fold it in half again so that I've got four strands. And then I'm going to take that loop there and thread that loop through my needle. If you're struggling to get the threads through your needle you can use a needle threader. So simply place the metal part of the needle threader through the needle. This creates a bigger eye and then place your thread through that eye and then bring the needle threader back through the needle. And then bring that loop so it sits lower than the other loop and thread ends. Take a stitch through the top of your fabric and then once you get to that loop take your needle through the loop and then pull tight to fasten. And then I'm going to take another stitch where I want the end of my thread chain to be and pull it until it's the correct size. So that looks about right so I can test that on my button and then I'll just pull a tiny bit more just to make it a touch smaller and I think that's that's a good size there. And then I'm going to Bring the thread back and make a stitch at the beginning again. And 
and make that second loop make sure that's the same length as the first. So I've now formed like a thread loop or two thread loops the size that I need. This is where I start to form the blanket stitch and I'm going to work the blanket stitch over these threads all the way to the other end. So this technique takes a lot longer but you can end up with a really nice neat finish for your projects. Take the thread through the loop behind the loop and then come through this loop of your thread and we're going to make the first stitch and then I'm going to bring the thread that's coming from the needle kind of bring that to the left and then I'm going to work through the loop of my thread chain there and then inside the loop of the thread coming from the needle and then pull. So again through the loop in front of the thread here and pull tight and then repeat all the way round. round, take a stitch into your fabric and then you can secure your stitching on the back. I like to make a stitch and then come through that loop to secure and then you can bury your thread ends between the layers of fabric and then cut the thread. For the next technique, simply run off a thread chain from your overlocker. And then secure this in place where you need your thread chain to be. For the final method, take a length of thread and fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. So you've got four strands. Set up your sewing machine to work a zigzag stitch with a short stitch length and a narrow width. Then place your thread under the presser fit, then zigzag over the four threads. and then secure this in place where you need your thread chain to be. <laughs> 